Halt! This is Puerto Isabella, under the protection of Commandant Sebastiano of the Inquisition. Well, I'm in the right place then. Just a moment, pirate. What's your business here? I'm looking for help in the fight against Captain Crow. Crow? You really think you're good enough to take him on? That's why I'm looking for help. But how do I know you're not here as one of his spies? Or maybe you're in league with the savages? The whole city could be in danger just because I let you in. You see my problem? Look, I'm not here to cause trouble. And you can prove it by paying me a good conduct fee. A good conduct fee? As proof of my good intentions, right? Exactly. A genuine villain would try to bluff or threaten his way in. But an honest man would happily pay up and then go about his business without any trouble. That sounds a lot like someone asking for a bribe. I wonder what the Commandant would have to say about that. Give me a break. I'm just trying to help you out here. You could help me out by just letting me in. All right, you can go in. You'd best report to Commandant Sebastiano straight away. But remember the rules. Pistols holstered, and keep your hands off other people's property. Give it a try. See that you do. Oh, and welcome to Puerto Isabella. You look like a man in need of a drink. I don't know you do, I love. It's not often one sees a new face around here. And whom do I have the pleasure of addressing? A man with manners. Now that is a very rare thing around here. I'm Sophia. A pleasure to meet you, darling. I could use a proper drink, yeah. No one goes thirsty at my place. What can I do for you, love? Grog, is it? What else have you got, apart from grog? Take a look, love. I'll exchange most things. But where treasure's concerned, I can pay you in gold. Sounds pretty good. Anything else you want to know, love? You only have to ask. What brought you here? Didn't have much choice, love. The old empire's in ruins. Miguel and me, we saw the writing on the wall in Caldera, so we took the first ship out. Tell me more about Arborea. Well, it's a big old place, Arborea. You can find most things you need here on the Sword Coast. It's not the safest place in the world, but we've got the Inquisition to protect us. I'd like to know more about the Sword Coast. Fire away, love. Why is this spit of land called the Sword Coast? God oh, blimey, love. What a question to ask. You don't know. I suppose. Uh, well, on the map it looks curved. A bit like the blade of a cutlass. Could be worse. It could have called it the Pork Sword Coast. Why wasn't this coast destroyed? I don't know. But just because it hasn't been destroyed doesn't mean it's not dangerous. But we've got the protectors to patrol the place. Is it dangerous? 
Well, there's wild animals for starters. Monkeys and jaguars and what have you. And then there's the Shaganumbi. Savages who live somewhere inland. We don't trade with them. But you let them work for you. Any you see round here are slaves, love. Teach me something. Everything I know I learned at the University of Life. But I'll try. What treasure can you find here? The old temples are filled with gold and jade. Statues, idols, masks. Any man brave or stupid enough to go looking for treasure can end up very rich. Or very dead. Of course, if it's gold you're after. I've got a job needs doing. It's not exactly a risk-free proposition, mind. Is there anything particular you want to trade? Well, since you ask, love, I can always use a few decent bottles of wine. Not so long ago, this storehouse wasn't guarded very well. Most of the wine got liberated. What's that got to do with me? Almost everyone round here has a bottle stashed away somewhere. If you find one, I'll pay you well for it. What'd you say? How many bottles do you need? Five will do me, but I'll take whatever you can find. I'll see what I can lay my hands on. Good. I'll be right here, love. And if you're looking for someone, you'll probably find him here. Let's trade. Hey, you know anything about a gucho called Crow? The lava? You want to talk? I am hungry. Bring me meat, then we will talk. I'll see what I can find. My place is here now. No meat to cook. Yes, I'm Miguel, storehouse master here at Puerto Isabella. And what can I do for you? You're the storehouse master. Could you use some cargo crates? I wouldn't say no to that. How many do you need? Well, let's see now. 
Let's say if you can bring me ten crates, I'll reward you accordingly. This colony, quite a place. It's a foothold, really. A base to expand out into the rest of the continent. The lowest level is in the harbor, where you'll find a gate and the storehouse. It's forbidden for you to go there, though, or onto the ship. The central level's the craftsmen and pig farmers. Commandant Sebastiano and his protectors are up top in the garrison. Anything else I can do for you? Where am I allowed to go? Not into any of the buildings, particularly the storehouse or the ship. And the garrison? You'd have to see Commandant Sebastiano about that. Any other entrances into this place? A path through the valley to the central level, guarded of course. And then there's the main gate up near the garrison. That's guarded too? You even have to ask. Have you goods you can sell me? No, my wife Sophia handles that. I thought you were the storehouse master. Like I don't have enough to do, all the paperwork and stock keeping. And since Alcazar instituted rationing, everything has to be double-checked. Bookkeeping's a very nerve-wracking business, you know. Anything goes wrong and it's me who gets blamed. Maybe they should pay you danger money. I just want people to appreciate how much work all this takes. People. They really are a bunch of ungrateful bastards. You said it, my friend. You said it. Why the rationing? Purely a precautionary measure. It's all because of that pirate crow. Until we know how much of a threat he is, it's best to be careful. Who knows how long we might be here. What do you know about Crow? He just suddenly appeared offshore one day and attacked one of our outposts. Only Alcazar's quick action saved the colony from being looted. What did he do? Seized and sank Crow's ship. Pity about the provisions aboard. We could have used them. So what's Crow up to now? He's lost his ship, but he's still somewhere out there in the jungle. Pirates, there's no end to the trouble they cause. So I'd be careful if you're planning on going out there. Alcazar's playing a waiting game with him. That's why we're on rations. You're looking at the guns. Beauties, aren't they? The muzzles were especially cast for this expedition. Got a much longer range than most deck guns. Nice. Nice. Nice! What do you see here are the finest cannons ever made on Caldera. Why are the cannons facing seaward? We've got muskets to keep the Malukas at bay. But what if a ship comes? Crow's tried his luck already, cheeky bastard. But the Black Betty gave chase and sunk him. Are those all the cannons? No. There's more on the towers. So we can catch the enemy in crossfire, see? You're the cannoneer, right? Is it that obvious? Just a bit. Understatement of the year, right? Fact is, sometimes I get a bit carried away. Cannons are my life, though. I love them. You, uh, know much about the sea? You look like a sailor. I served under Captain Steelbeard. The Steelbeard? You're a pirate? You've been in sea battles, then. I'd love to be in a real sea battle, me. Have you ever served aboard ship? Of course. Cooped up in the dark, being pitched this way, rolled that way. Takes a master cannoneer to fire off a good shot in that sort of situation.
What have we here? Pirate, are you? Good man. Well, pull up a pew and come join me then. Plenty of room. <laughs> Inquisition seems fond of you. Letting you roam about as you want, eh? I'm not part of Crow's crew, if that helps. Then I'm wondering just whose crew you are part of. I'm here with Captain Steelbeard. Steelbeard's here? Now that's interesting. So, why did you land here? Captain's idea. We weighed anchor in a small bay not far from here. The captain, he took off into the jungle with a troop of the lads alongside him. You didn't go with them? Not me job. Ships cook me. Fighting someone else's duty. Closest I get to danger is boiling up lobsters. Nippy little bastards they are. There's a watchtower not far from that bay. Aye, manned by a couple of Inquisition novices. Easy pickings for the captain. What happened then? Well, we raided the watchtower food stores, and I started cooking up a nice stew. I mean with the Inquisition. 
Oh, well, we saw sails. One of those bloody big Inquisition warships. <laughs> I was all for surrendering then and there. Only some bloody fool hero wanted to stop them boarding us. Full broadside of cannon fire soon put paid to him. And the rest of us. What happened to your ship? The ghost. At the bottom of the sea, now, more's the pity. She was an ugly old bin, but she always got you where you wanted to go. You were the only survivor? Ship's cook. I know all the best places to hide and avoid the argy-bargy. As if we ever stood any chance against a boatload of protectors. Locked me up to rot here, they did. Bastards. Perhaps you're lost. Uh, what is it you're after, young sir? Pistols, bullets, or powder? More bangs for your buck. That's what Webster provides. Do you sell muskets, too? Ah, the noble musket. The very thing a discerning young gentleman needs by his side. But woe betide you if your weapon ends up in the wrong hands. So do you have any? Of course. But I can't sell muskets to any young gentleman who walks in off the street. I need Commandant Sebastiano's consent first. What's Sebastiano's consent got to do with anything? It seems the young gentleman hasn't been paying attention. The savages are giving us enough trouble as it is, to say nothing of the pirates. If they should get their dirty hands on our muskets, well, who knows what might happen? Show me what you've got. You looking for something in here?
Looking for Tito? That's me, Tito the Butcher. They need butchers out here? They do if they want the best kinds of meat. If you're hungry and have gold, then I'm your man. Is meat all you've got? Aye. You can buy weapons from the smith or from Webster's. But if it's pork you're after... Just pork? Just about. Well, it's not my fault, mate. Blame the rationing. But I can make you up a nice package. Pork steaks, pork chops, pork belly. All the good stuff. Okay, I'll take a package of meat. This is just between you and me, all right? No, I don't have time right now. You're looking for something in here? Oh. Hello? Yes, young fella. What is it? Shiny? Are you the blacksmith? Uh -huh. Hammer, apron, anvil. Any of that starting to say blacksmith to you? Another bloody idiot. Can't be any worse than those protectors, though. The state they keep their weapons in. Bloody disgrace, so it is. And who do they blame, huh? <laughs> who has to fix them? I'll know who to blame if something goes missing. Could you teach me your craft? Tricks of the trade, eh? That'll cost mine. I'm not here doing this for the good of my health. And no haggling. I can't be bothered with that bloody long-winded nonsense. Perhaps I can help. You? A blacksmith? I could learn. You'd be better off learning to dress properly. But I could use help with these swords. What have you got? I don't like browsers. Are you buying? If they're any good, I might be. Well, take your time. It's not like I've got more important things to do than wait on you. What have you got for sale? Well, well, look what the tide dragged in. The pirate. You know who I am? It's not exactly a big place. News travels fast. All for me. Do you know anything about this area? Enough to know that you need to watch yourself out in that jungle valley. Why is that? Because if the animals don't eat you, the Moluccas will. Bloody savages, the lot of them. They're cannibals? They're savages. Isn't that the same thing?
Who are you? Leave me alone, brute. I'll scream. I did knock, but I didn't expect to find a woman of your stature in the garrison. I apologize profusely if I disturbed you. Of course not. So rude of me not to introduce myself. I'm Isabella Dolores de la Florentina, daughter of the Commandant. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. So what do you do here? Fashion is my passion. I've been researching. I have a vision and new look for noble women. Leopard print. It'll be huge. Animal skins, horns, feathers. Not like the icky natives' clothes. Wild, but classy. Exactly. You understand there's a market. Hmm, okay. But you'd need to get all the right equipment. Animal trophies are much sought after. Y yes, but I mean... You need to remove the skins. Oh, I have both a hunting knife and pinking shears. Say, are you going to be in town long? You want me to help you with something? Oh, you are so sweet. Well, now you mention it, do you think you could get me some materials for my designs? Animal trophies, I'm guessing. Well, a jaguar skin would be nice. You can use my knife to skin it. For accessories, I wanted some fangs and maybe a tusk. You'll need a jaw chisel for that. And it would make me so happy to have the feather of a firebird for my hairpiece. The natives could show you how. Please say you'll help me. I'll do what I can. Thanks. Here's the knife. Maybe I'll make you a reward. Do you like it here? Oh, yes. It's so inspiring to someone creative like me. We are creating a new world. Though I suppose the fact the old one is at war is less good. Maybe not a good idea.